Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. I have seven Italian wines in front of me. How many provinces have I got? Uh, I have got uh, three from the Veneto, and then I've got Piedmont. Uh, oh, we'll just dig in and see where we get. I've got quite a few provinces, and I've got a couple of islands thrown in for good measure. We are starting uh, with Pinot Grigio, and uh, why not? A lot of people start their wine drinking exploits with Pinot Grigio, so I'm going to start this video with Pinot Grigio. Uh, it's the Alpha Zeta uh, P Pinot Grigio. Alpha Zeta is a range that uh, has been put together by um, by a UK importer, Liberty Wines, with a New Zealand winemaker called Matt Thompson. So uh, if you know, is it the St Clair wines he does? Something like that. They're pretty good in, in, in Marlborough anyway. But this is his Italian uh, exploits. We've got another of his wines later on. Well, when I think of Pinot Grigio, I think of it as a uh, safe option. Uh, Pinot Grigio seldom offends. Uh, it seldom excites, that's the problem. It's, uh, it, it's not a problem for a lot of people. A lot of people just want something that's uh, reasonably wet and alcoholic, and I know a few people like that. Uh, but um, here, it feels like there's a little bit more pithiness uh, in than the standard, bog-standard Pinot Grigio. And uh, it smells like it's going to be good. It's kind of a little citrus edge, but this touch of green gauge as well. Maybe even some pear. Perfectly respectable, soft, slightly nutty. Um, it's got this peachy weight in the middle. Uh, leaves your mouth fresh, clean, not overly excited, but certainly um, you have to come back and have at least another couple of slurps of that. Nice beginning. Uh, next one, we are in Garvey, and this is uh, Spa's own label Garvey. Garvey, hand selected. I think that just means, oh, we'll have that one. Um, so, hand selected, 2011 Garvey. Let us give this a whirl. Well, it's like a waxy walnut edge here. Um, maybe a touch of citrus, but it's more that slightly nutty, creamy character that's, uh, uh, that's to the fore. Smells like it's going to be maybe a little bit richer than the one before. Maybe not as crisp and fruity, but um, different style. Different grape. I mean, the grape here is one called Cortese. Uh, doesn't, I must say, Cortese doesn't, uh, uh, doesn't really, isn't really a high-class grape, but in the right hands. Well, let's have a see. Yeah, one of those, I think, that will grow on you. Um, so it has got this pear peach character, uh, but then it's, it's more this taste, a more textural thing here. Um, uh, so there's this sappiness that your mouth's left feeling certainly uh, refreshed, um, but there's herbs, nuts, or things like walnuts. It's on that sort of green walnut character. Um, good and. Um, Yes, uh, slightly different from the Pinot Grigio. The Pinot Grigio is sort of like a bit sort of like stand up and puppy like. Here it's a little bit more laid back, uh, a little bit more subtle. I like it. Actually, to be honest, I like both of them. Um, a lot of Italian wine used to fall into what I call the CFDN bracket, crisp, fresh, dry, neutral. But um, last 10 years or so, the wines have improved rap uh, rapidly. Okay, let's head to an island now. This is the Melis Jocalia Vermentino. And it's from Sardinia, Vermentino di Sardinia. Now the way I'm going to describe this makes it's going to make it sound like it's a disinfectant, but I get lemon and pine. Um, yes, yeah, so the, this, uh, this citrus edge and this tight uh, resinous pine-like character. Um, can't think of any other way of describing it really. It smells like it's going to be fresh, perky, and bring me some sardines. -y. Yeah, that Christmas comes through. There may be a little touch of lemon jelly that's not so sure about that, but then. There are a few other fruits in there as well. Um, good. Um, I'm not sure whether I prefer the Garvey actually. Um, here, um, it smells. I, I like. I like that. That slightly herbal, piney fragrance. But I could almost do with a little bit more of it in the wine. It almost feels like they've made, tried to make uh, a slightly too rich a wine. I'm not sure what the alcohol is here. Thirteen and a half percent alcohol. I would have liked to have seen it. Um, yeah, just being a little bit more. Um, yeah, a little more dainty on its feet, so it's got those nice aromas, but um, when you come to taste it, just a bit too full-bodied. Hey, uh, let us try uh, the second of the A to Z wines. Um, so this is uh, Alpha, Alpha Zeta, not A to Z. Alpha Zeta, Zeta? Well, I don't know what you Zeta, Zeta. Uh, and it's uh, Garganiga. Uh, Garganiga, the main grape of Suave. We've got a Suave from these... Uh, guys uh, from uh, uh, coming up next and uh, these these people actually do do a suave uh, but I'm, I'm really sorry to say all you people at Liberty Wine but I was in need of something that was nice and crisp and uh, um, anchovy friendly one night and I necked it but it was very nice let's see whether this is very nice 
Well, we're back to that slightly nutty walnut peach edge that I, I was getting in the uh, um, in the Garvey. Different grape, different side of Lake Garda. Um, but, um, yeah, it smells like it's going to have that little bit of um, uh, quite fatness, but also some fresh, freshness too. And there's a muskiness there. Um, uh, almost as if they've, tr they've done a little bit of skin contact to try and get a little bit, of, a bit more character into the wine. So it's very much pear skin. Uh, my concern about that is in the, them doing that, I mean this is 2011, already it's starting to feel just maybe a little bit flabby. I'd, I'd, I'd like, I uh, almost want to put a dollop of the Pinot Grigio in there just to, uh, uh, to perk it up a little bit. So good, not as good as the Suave was. Um, but let, actually, talking about Suave, let's try the next one, which is a Suave, uh, a year older, and it's Guerrieri Rizzardi 2010. Now this is Garganigan, but it's got some Chardonnay and Trebbiano in there as well. Um, and um, don't know whether it's the fact that it's a year older. Uh, you know, you, I don't know if you can see the colour against my um, rather rubicund trousers, uh, but um, it's quite it's quite golden in colour, uh, as if um, there were some bits of it that maybe were late picked. Uh, so the skins were that little bit more golden. Certainly smells like it's going to be a quite a fat wine. Uh, I wouldn't say I get too much of the subtlety of good Suave, which I think of having uh, more of the herbal, even the piney notes that I was getting in the Vermentino. Uh, but um, it smells okay. You come to taste it and some of those mineral characters, those um, herby characters do come through, So, which is good. I just question why they needed the, uh, the Chardonnay and the Trebbiano in there. Trebbiano probably to bulk it up. Uh, but um, uh, but Chardonnay, not sure whether the Chardonnay is bringing anything to the party. Maybe it's adding a little bit more plumpness. But uh, um, I mean, I think I'm sure it was going to be plump enough as it was. But um, I, it's okay. But um, I wouldn't say I was jumping up and down. Next one, Abruzzo for Pecorino from the Collini Pescara ah, blah, 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 Pescaresi. Oh. I got there in the end. So 2011, and the producer it just says Contesa, uh, Azienda Agricola Contesa. It's almost a mealy, clay-like character in here. Um, I think of um, of wines from this side of um, uh, of Italy. We're sort of central, um, central eastern Italy, and uh, they have that great their Verdicchio. And I think of Verdicchio as, as having a, a clay-like character. Get most of the same character here. Is it something in the soil? Is it uh, are the grapes related in some way? One of those again that's not majorly fruity. Um, if uh, I maybe would describe it, I think about the Garvi, the one made from Cortese. It's got uh, a lot of the good bits of that and then uh, feels like an extra sprightliness and uh, uh, some herbs, uh, yeah, yeah, herbs and herbs and fresh, uh, maybe a fresher citrus edge. They're quite a weighty wine, not sure what the alcohol is. There's this nutty character, and then there's all that fruit. Peach, citrus, pear, juicy, uh, but then it's got the herbs and it's got the texture. It, 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 the, good, the good ones here have got fruit, texture and the life beyond fruit, the, so either it's the herbs and the minerals, so I get a little touch of both of them there. Um, probably favourite so far, I would say. Nice wine. Uh, final one is uh, Harvey Nichols uh, Fiano, um, and fit from Sicily. So, IGT Sicily, Sicilia, sorry. I will give it a whirl. Who's made it, by the way? Uh, Cassetta Soli. So. Well, this seems to have picked up some of the um, character of uh, Sicily's volcanic soil. Um, so there's this, um, yeah, volcanic, minerally, uh, ever so slightly, nice sulfury edge coming through. Uh, quite weighty fruit. It smells almost like um, uh, bits, of, bits of Viognier, like the peachy, nutty edges of Viognier, uh, but with, uh, with something a little bit more, um, yeah, a little bit more, maybe, maybe the Vermentino, that herby, Herby citrus, so um, herby, herby dragons, and herby citrus. Uh, let's give it a whirl, and that's good too. Again, lovely texture, lovely flavour. It's rich, and then just when you think it's going to go just a little bit too rich, um, the finish is sufficiently fresh. Maybe a little bit more freshness would have been welcome. Uh, alcohol, alcohol. It's only twelve and a half percent alcohol. It's so. Um, it leaves your mouth really quite, it, it feels like you've had a much fuller bodied wine than that. I'm very surprised at that. Uh, so maybe they shouldn't be picking it any earlier. Uh, but may, yeah, maybe, maybe if there's something that I miss, I would like a little bit more, um, I, some sort of, something of a backbone, maybe a little more acidity, uh, maybe a little more mineral character, but um, pretty nice wine. 
I prefer the Pecorino, uh, not by much. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I'd say my favourites were probably the Garvey. Um, the um, the Vermentino was okay, but just on that fat side. But, um, yeah, Pecorino. Uh, yeah, I go Pecorino and then Fiano and Garvey uh, equal second. But um, reasonably nice, not a lot. And uh, I might go away and enjoy a glass of one of them now. See you soon.